Good afternoon. I'm Dana Bash, and welcome to Inside Politics. Coming up, we'll give Wolf Blitzer an edible and an hour to solve the Middle East. But first, on Tuesday, President Joe Biden won the Michigan primary, but a New York Times poll today has him down five points, and many voters still have concerns about his age. Here with me is Governor of California and Biden advocate Gavin Newsom. Great to be with you, Dana. I understand people care about the president's age, but what they should care about is his record. Look at what Joe Biden has done for America. He's created more jobs than any president in history. Inflation is down. The Shamrock Shake is back. And Beyonce has gone country. Thank you, Joe. Right, but can he make that case with the speed and sharpness that someone like you can? Dana, he, Joe can do it better. I was just with him and behind closed doors, Joe is incredible. Yesterday we had a big meeting about the border and God, he had such command. He had charts, tables, PowerPoints. He had an interactive AR display on the Apple Vision Pro that he programmed himself. The software might be in beta, but the man, he's an alpha. Governor, I have to admit, I'm a little skeptical. This is the same man people call Sleepy Joe. Well, he has to sleep, Dana. <laughs> but even when he's sleeping, he's on. The other day he was taking a nap and I whipped the baseball at him and he caught it like De Niro in Awakenings. <laughs> Lightning quick. Just ask any of the people who are with him every day. Very well, let's go live to Washington with White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre. Hello, Dana. Pleasure to be with you to talk about the most vigorous man I've ever known, <laughs> Joe Biden. Really? Absolutely. I was just with him. And behind closed doors, he's a whirlwind. I mean, Dana, look at his schedule. 7 a.m. Soul Cycle class. And I'm not talking about taking one, he leads it. 8.30 a.m. Plays speed chess in the park. 8.32 a.m. Wins chess game, points at opponent and says, next time, young blood. 9.30 a.m. Meets with Joint Chiefs for a military strategy meeting and push-up contest. 10.02 a.m. Wins contest, points at the head of the Joint Chiefs and says, next time, young blood. 10.03 to 11, train time. And that's all before a lunch where he eats five whole chickens and a raw potato. Corrine, Biden is 81 years old. Isn't that a little concerning? Only if you're scared of wisdom. Look, Joe Biden was 30 years old before Roe vs. Wade was instated, so you know he was smashing. <laughs> he dealt with those restrictions then as a young, handsome man, and he can deal with them now as an old, even more handsome man. Ask anyone who works with him closely. Well, let's do that. We are now joined live by Secretary of Homeland Security, Alejandro Mayorkas. Thanks for having me, Dana. Uh, man, I am exhausted. I was with Joe Biden for the past weekend, and phew, he wiped me out. <laughs> okay, so you feel he's up to the job. Dana, I was just with him, and behind closed doors, he's a dynamo. This weekend, we both went down to the border town of Brownsville, Texas, and Joe went into beast mode. He said, we got to tighten this border. Look how easy I can cross it. Then he parkoured up to the top of the border wall. He front flipped into the Rio Grande and came back up with a fish in his mouth. But you didn't report that because it doesn't fit your little narrative. Well, with all due respect, it doesn't fit reality. Oh, please, Dana, we were all just with him. If you don't believe us, just ask a good friend of mine, one of the NBA's fiercest players, Golden State Warriors forward Draymond Green. <laughs> Let's go live to San Francisco. Hello, Mr. Green. Yeah, what's up, Dana? We t are we talking about Joe Biden? Because he got that dog in him. You've met the president. I was just with him, and behind closed doors, he is strong. Joe got that grandpa monkey strength, and he can jump. That man could jump so high that I saw him grab a dollar off the top of the backboard and leave some change. Also, did you know he dunked on me? He dunked on you? Yeah, yeah, it was disrespectful, too. He windmilled in my face, and he talked about, yeah, next time, young blood. And uh, I wasn't having it, so I tried to punch him in the nuts, and I broke three fingers. Yeah, you can't mess with Joe, ma'am. Governor, I have to say, we all know the stakes here. You don't have to exaggerate to make voters feel better. I'm not. What we are saying about Biden is true. You want to call him? Let's FaceTime him. I'll bet he's probably just right in the middle of the bike ride. All right, can you put my phone up on the screen? Hey, hey, all right. It's Gavin Newsom. Mr. President? Hey, hold on. I'm just going to turn up the volume. Just got to 
Find a button. He goes, there we go. Uh, well, looks like he hung up. Well, while the governor tries to get him back on the line, let's take a break and let's...